you'll be surprised. It's some, it's, I'm not going to tell you what it is for an upcoming book that I'm working on, another upcoming book that I'm working on, so I'm going to read you some. And then I will end with a whimsical, I can never say that word, whimsical story that you're going to enjoy. Might be a little disgusting, but it's a little comical. Okay? Let me uh, introduce myself a little more. I live in West Weehawken. I'm a resident of Weehawken, New Jersey. Weehawken. I'm from West New York, New Jersey. I was born and raised in West New York. Went to Memorial High School. Yay! <laughs> I was a star athlete. And... I did many things. I, uh, my background in education is as follows. I have a BA and MS in criminal justice and free law. I have paralegal certification, counseling in youth, youth counseling, and also uh, in writing. My writing uh, forte has started actually at the age of 11. Right now my forte is poetry and children's books, which I have written other, uh, other, on other genres also. My genre really is all over the place. It's, 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 it's amazing. And it, besides writing, let me tell you some of the work I've done. I have uh, was a teacher. I became a, and then after teaching, I became a probation officer. I started out with young adult, female adult, and I went into the juvenile unit. So I was a juvenile probation officer for about 10 years. From there, I decided to change careers and become a youth counselor. I worked with children on, um, that had behavioral disorders and, and all types of disorders, and so I was a counselor with them. From there, I went on to teaching again, went back to teaching, I was got, and then I got a certification in guidance counseling, courses in psychology, et cetera, et cetera. Been to many schools, I, I went to school down in South Jersey at, at uh, Stockton University, got my B, that got, I received my BA there. I received my uh, master's at New Jersey City University, paralegal studies in New York at the Paralegal Institute, and my writing, my writing has been from NYU, the New School, along with psychology and counseling at the New School. So that's a little background in that. Some work I do now is mostly volunteer. I, um, I read to children, my, pick, my children's books, and other selections. I entertain them with my guitar and do the songs that I wrote myself. So I'm pretty much, like I said, my genre is all over the place. I tell workshops for children ages um, from seven to eight grade, poetry workshops. I did PS number five school uh, at some other schools around the area. I tell poetry readings, open mics, all over New Jersey, New York, and Virginia. So I've been up and down the south and, and up here in the north. I've had open mics and um, poetry readings. I organized them and was hosting. I read, so those are the public readings that I have read. I had several books out already. Uh, my memoir was, my, my poetry book called Voices was the first published in 1999, where I received a lot of feedback from that. Uh, in two weeks, sold over 400 copies. So that's, it's all about marketing and promoting. And thanks to the press, thanks to the press all over New Jersey, New York, and Wisconsin, I was getting calls from people from Wisconsin, um, Delaware, everywhere. And, but the biggest project that I, that I, not the biggest project that I'm proud of, but I love, is my CD. It's a spoken word CD. CD with music and poetry. I received the idea when I first um, saw Maya Angelou with, with, with the group Ashford and Simpson. I had front row seats, I was great. <laughs> Ashford and Simpson was singing and she came out and she recited her poetry through their music. So I went home, went to like, I bought the CD, I bought the tape, at that time it was cassettes. I said, you know what? About a year later, two years later, I said, I could do this. I can make a CD with music. So it wasn't until 2000 and, I believe it was, when did we go to that opening? Nine, 2009, 2009 when I produced, uh, produced a CD. Had it professionally done, produced, and monitored, and went to a studio. That was an awesome experience. <laughs> My poetry is free verse. This is described a little bit about what free verse is. They are irregular short lines that show images and vivid, Im vivid ideas and concepts. So I don't write, I do not, ri ri I'm not rhythmic. I'm very metaphorical. I do everything is words that mean something that, that aren't something. You all know what metaphor means. So I write a lot of metaphors. So if, when I read today one of my poems, I'm going to ask you if you have any questions about it, if you'd like me to explain it. Because the, 
believe me, it's very deep metaphor. <laughs> so some of you have the book and you read it and you see how the metaphors are. Ah. Before I start, just let me tell you this. Oh, and I've been studying the writing, the writing industry since about the age of 15. And I started submitting work since about the age of 17. Don't quote me on my age, but it's about right. I was first published a poem in the, the Old Jersey Journal when it was a book, <laughs> before it became uh, four pages. And um, it was my mother, I didn't know, my mother submitted it and they, and they published it. I was going through some work from some old, old material that I had that was from my mother and my father and I found an envelope that was my mother's. And I never knew I had that envelope. I opened it up, what was in there, but that poem that she wrote, that she submitted. So I was astounded by that. So today I'm going to read some poetry, but I'm going to first start you with this. If I tell you a story, will you be afraid? Or will you find joy and enlightenment? Only you, and only you alone, can imagine what a child assumes as she writes her verses. Take with you today an open mind. Perhaps create a tale, or paint the picture in your mind. Do not ask what satisfaction may bring you, but rather empower yourself in the power and beauty of intriguing words the masterful gift of the spoken and written words. So I begin. This is the book, it's called The Mountain Always Climbed. Some of you have purchased it already, some of you have it, some of you do not. I'm gonna read some selections from here. And I'm gonna do some other selections, surprise you with some other selections. And we'll take it from there. Anybody has a personal one that has the book already and they would like me to read, you just let me know. Okay? The first one I'm going to start with is called Friends. And I will speak slowly. I know I've been speaking fast, right, Murphy? Quick years. Quick years. It's called Friends. Time shed brings settling moments released from desolate abundances of lone beings. Laughing crying, overshadowing, withering seasons brought on our dreary, sunny, cool, and slight brisk days. Lying ahead, reaching for those bearable forthcomings we do not see or know to understand forbearance. Enjoying glistening company, astounded by secrets and reassuring reservations. Goodbyes are not for long, attached through methods of advance till we bring together our appearance smothered in each other's grace. Thank you. 